Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Make certain to hit the like and subscribe button and ring that notification bell to receive updates on videos like this and many others. So I want to tell you, I want to start off a little disclaimer. This is going to be a different episode than what you are used to. Also, if you are of my younger fans, I ask that you please click off of this video, go on to another video. If Make certain your parents watch this one first, because this one is not a uh, um, happy video, okay? Um, this one is not my usual, but I want to tell you some very important things that I have witnessed, that I have seen. Uh, so the other day, I drove through Hollywood and I got caught in a protest parade. Now, mind you, I, I was far enough away that I, I maneuvered around it and I later discovered that it was a group of uh, protesters who were put onto this by a certain um, internet troll organization. And they were protesting child abuse, which, great, who, who would not want to protect children, right? Excepting for the fact that these people were specifically targeting satanic Hollywood child abusers claiming that celebrities are satanic in a satanic cult and they eat babies and they abuse babies in a more physical, mental, emotional way. They, I don't know how to say it without saying it, but they harm babies, harm children. Specifically, satanic. I have said on countless times that I do not speak for all Satanists. And where that overarching theme is true, I do not speak for Satanists. With the exception, I can boldly assert that there is not a single Satanist that still belongs to any of the more mainstream satanic religions that agrees with harming a child in any way, especially not that kind of abuse. Satanism is a religion. Someone said to me, oh, well, they, they're not targeting you specifically. They're saying that these child abusers are evil, and that's why they're satanic. But you're, you, you're not evil, this person said. And I said, you're right. I am not evil. <laughs> Satanists are not, for the most part, evil. It's like the witch hunts. At the, you know, in the 1600s in England and in the New World. You're a witch and you worship the devil and you go for the devil and you kill children. No, we don't. I've covered this. No, we don't. No, we don't. Satanists don't do that. In the Satanic Bible, it talks about not abusing children. It also says to not give sexual advances to someone that does not reciprocate. It is specifically against that kind of malicious crime because a key element of Satanism is that it is about the freedom of the will. Having said this, there are people in Hollywood and in politics 
who have harmed and continue to harm children. They are really, there are really, really victims. And this, instead of protecting children, makes you sound crazy. There is a politician. You know him probably very well. This politician used to judge beauty contests and went on Howard Stern and laughed about how he would go into the dressing room of these underage girls. This politician was friends with a certain deceased trafficker. Oh, but I never heard of him. Don't pay any attention to these pictures. I have a very dear friend who was abused many, many years ago. I'm going to keep him anonymous, but he was abused. And it really messed up his mind, and it, he was abused by, uh, by a priest in a church, and he prayed to the Virgin to save him and prayed to God to save him, and neither did. The point is that these people are saying, oh, they're Satanists that do this. These are Satanists. No, no, they're not Satanists. Those people are not Satanists. Satanism is a religion. They're not Satanists. However, since we are on child abuse and religion, most abusers, and no, not every person of Abrahamic faith, I know that. I have a lot of good friends who are Jewish, who are Christian, who are Muslim, who are whatever. I know, not all. You don't have to even put that in the comments. But I would like to address some of what Abrahamic faith says about such child abuse. So in the Old Testament, Yahweh demands blood sacrifice, and Abraham is told by God Put your son on the pyre and kill him. And so he goes through with it, excepting for at the very last minute, God says, oh, just kidding. There's a ram over there in the thicket. But that is still child abuse. The man was willing to sacrifice his own child to a deity. Now, if a Satanist did that, you people would be up in arms, you people, people of Abrahamic faith. It doesn't end there. In the Old Testament, it says that if a girl is, a young girl is raped, that the rapist needs to pay her father 50 shekels, and then the little girl, the girl of any age, is married to her attacker girls of property. In the Old Testament, again, it goes on to talk about how that God, Yahweh, tells his chosen people to go and slaughter in the next village over every man, every woman that has ever known a man, but save the virgins. So after you have killed these girls' parents, their brothers, their married sisters, Who's left? How do you know that they're virgins? Is that not child abuse? And even still, more modern times in Judaism. Several years ago, a rabbi doing uh, circumcisions, which is genital mutilation, would, in order, in order to do a proper moil, you have to cut the private parts, the genitalia of these boys, and then you're supposed to take the skin off with your mouth, which is again, genital mutilation and sexual assault. 
But this rabbi infected babies with STDs. Babies. And Christians, I can hear you out there going, oh, well, you know, Christians wouldn't do that. But for the last 2,000 years, the Roman Church has shuffled priests from parish to parish. They would then pay reparations to the child, hush money. Be quiet. And where that has been much more exposed in the light, it still has happened. But it even dates way back to the Annunciation of Christ when the angel of the Lord came upon Mary. Historians, Bible historians, will say she was a girl of 12 years old. 12. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women. And then he goes on to tell her that she was favored and that God had a purpose, that God wanted to make her have child of Jesus. And she said, well, I'm your servant, do what you will. She was 12. In modern day vernacular, she couldn't vote, she couldn't drive a car, she couldn't even buy cigarettes. Oh, but it was different because it was 2,000 years ago. No, it was not different. She was a girl of 12. And you Muslims. Prophet Muhammad, for all of the goodness that you may perceive that he may or may not have done, the one remaining fact is this. He married a six-year-old girl. Six year old girl. These people, mostly Abrahamic faith, say, oh yes, there are these things that are happening, but it's the Satanists who are doing it. Do your research. Don't fall prey to these internet trolls who are looking for a bad guy. Have you ever heard of the, the idea of a scapegoat? This is an old Jewish tradition, so you would, the reason that they hated goats so much is because they would take a goat and the priest would, would say magic words over it, and then they would take the sins of the people, compile it on the goat, and then drive the goat into the wilderness to die. So it's sort of, a, oh, not, not me, I didn't do that. It was the goat who did that. So you're looking for a bad guy. So you go, oh, Satanists. Do your research. If you believe that there are satanic organizations and you know they're abusers because they wear red shoes or because they have a pizza or whatever, you're an idiot. What can I say? Do your research. Don't be a sheep. Go to places other than these extreme right-wing or left-wing websites. Do your own research. That is what Satanism is about. Self-empowerment. Thank you. In conclusion, I'm not going to go on any further, but I do want to say I appreciate you. Check me out on Patreon under The Gentleman's House. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, obviously, and the website, thegentlemanpsychic.com. As always, I'm your host, Richard Leah Lillard, The Gentleman Psychic. Thank you.